Search engine marketing can be pretty powerful. And to understand how powerful it is compared to other advertising, uh, let's break advertising into two categories. We'll talk about pull marketing and push marketing. Uh, push is what we're going to lump some most marketing and advertising into. Um, uh, most push marketing, we call it that because it, it requires a lot of work. You're pushing all your information out there hoping somebody has interest in it. And a lot of times you can do a lot of work. You can push and push and not get any results. Um, also, it can be very expensive. Uh, an example would be a newspaper. Um, who knows if anyone's going to respond to the ad that you place in the newspaper. Plus, you're limited in the geography. You know, it's just going to be in that town to that, uh, you know, the, the population around that city. And if you want to go to the city next door to the state next door, you've got to uh, purchase another advertisement in another newspaper. Um, another form would be radio commercials or television commercials. Same thing. You've got different channels and how many people are actually going to pick up the phone and call or, or whatever you're hoping that they do. Um, billboards. You know, uh, I know I got a kick out of this billboard, but I don't think I've ever eaten it to Chick-fil-A. Um, and so now let's talk about poll marketing. If somebody goes to the Internet, they are searching for something specific. You know, they'll go to Google and they'll type in a search term. How do you pull those people in? Well, that's what search engine marketing is. Basically, people that are already expressing an interest in the product or service that you offer you're able to, to focus on those people and just pull them into your website. Um, here's an example. Let's say we go to Google and uh, Ogden is a city. We're looking to go to Ogden and we want to find a restaurant. So we do a Google search and up comes a list here. Um, we got, we got uh, a lot of uh, restaurants here listed with a map. We've got some paid for advertisements over here, pay-per-click advertisements. Um, we've got the natural listings. These are all great websites. Let's check out Bistro 258. So I, I searched for an Ogden restaurant. I saw one. I clicked on it. And now here I am at the website. And so th um, this website didn't have to advertise in a traditional way, a push marketing way, to get me to come to the website. Uh, they just pulled me in because I was searching for an Ogden restaurant. Uh, here's another example on Bing. Let's say I'm a, a restaurant owner not looking to eat, but I'm a restaurant owner and I need to buy a new pizza oven. You know, same thing will happen here. Um, pizzaovens.com looks like they probably supply them. Uh, Fornobravo.com maybe they supply them. And so these people are only, um, these listings are only going to be here when I type in pizza oven. They're not going to be there if I type in Ogden restaurant or if I type in golf course. So they, they don't have to um, thin themselves out so far they can focus just on their target audience and so that's the real power of search engine marketing um, you get to really focus on your your targeted audience and it's obviously a lot more cost effective now there's a couple ways of doing search engine marketing um, one is search engine optimization um, and that gets you on the natural listings on Google or Yahoo and then there's pay-per-click advertising where that's actually paid for advertisements and there's actually strengths and weaknesses to both um, and we can talk about those in other videos